This video is brought to you by Lark. This is a desk setup like no other. I always experiment with various layouts in my constant search for interesting product combinations, tech experimentations and of course, inspiration. This quirky creative corner came to fruition when we started combining distinctive tech items and we ended up here. A creative corner that I absolutely love. Although it looks unconventional, surprisingly, it is very comfortable to use and I intend to keep it as a secondary desk for some less demanding work or whenever we have guests that want to sit down and work. The setup can be used with the M2 Mac Mini, which we'll talk about in a second, or via a laptop and even DeX. All right, for the sake of testing, let's see if DeX works with this monitor. Before we talk about some of the curious details and applications, let me show you around. And full disclaimer, this is not a setup I consider budget, nor do I have a purpose to convince you to replicate it. If you find it interesting and inspiring, then I've done my job. The idea behind this setup came from the IKEA Alif desk dividers, which I purchased to test the LG Libero monitor that you see here. Aside from creating some additional acoustic treatment around the studio, the dividers are great if you want to separate your desk from the surroundings. Yet, I didn't want to enclose the corner, hence placing the dividers behind each other, right underneath the window and off to the side a little bit so that I can create some dimension and depth. This way, there's plenty of light coming from the window above, a white wall in combination with a dark gray side wall and the texture of the dividers themselves. Aside from holding the monitor, the dividers are an easy way to attach things to thanks to Velcro tape. This led to the concept of using light IKEA picture frames, which we filled with some of our favorite YouTube thumbnail shots, hence creating this very cozy, busy yet minimal looking environment. By the way, if you end up enjoying this video, subscribe because why not? The desk itself is an IKEA Falbo laptop table, which is very funky looking and very uh, shallow. However, I think IKEA made it for the Mac Mini or the Mac Studio because that little storage area is perfect for either. Look at this. Ta da! In fact, it comes with little clips with the 3M tape on the back, which you can use to organize cables. The table itself is a combination of black metal frame and wood panels, and overall, it is as sturdy as you can expect. It's very easy to move around, yet it's a bit on the lighter side. However, that is not a problem at all because its purpose is to only hold the peripherals and the computer and nothing else. The interaction of whoever is sitting does not reflect or bounce to the monitor since both live in different worlds. When you sit, you can pull the table towards the chair and use the rear bottom rail to rest your legs while allowing for as much leg room as necessary. Combined with the IKEA Marcus chair that we all love here, surprisingly, this is in fact one of the most comfortable places to be. Ideal eye level interaction with the monitor, no wobble, perfect angle of sitting and a footrest. I was surprised as you are probably. The MVP of this setup is the base model Mac Mini M2, which I think is the tech item of the year. For $599 or even $499 if you're a student, I could only dream of that much power and performance in a package that small and quiet. I am yet to experience and test the Mini further, so I'll leave my remarks and my comments for my upcoming review. During my initial setup process, which I documented in a step-by-step -step guide, which I'll link at the end of this video, and during my casual work, I haven't skipped a beat with this little guy. Since the Mini comes with only 256 gigabytes of storage, I've integrated my 2TB SanDisk Pro SSD as a sidekick should I decide to work on a more complex project. If I need to express a complaint about the Mac Mini, it is the fact that the base model comes with only two Thunderbolt ports in the back. For that purpose, I resorted to an old Thunderbolt 3 dock, which I had lying around. This OWC dock works like a tank, yet it's a bit obsolete, but plenty good for this scenario. It gives additional USB-A ports as well as power should anyone decide to plug a laptop in this setup. Another very useful application of the dock is the inclusion of an SD card reader in the front, something that the Mac Mini 
legs. On the left side of the desk, I've mounted IKEA's Lannis Polar cup holder, which is ideal for beverages. In it, I keep a water bottle by Lark. The Lark bottle purifies and eliminates 99% of biocontaminants thanks to a technology called PureVis. This bottle doesn't require constant cleaning, since when you pour water in it, it self-cleans every two hours or by simply tapping on the cap. This way, the water stays fresh tasting and free of bacteria for a month before the next charge. The double wall vacuum insulation model keeps your water hot for 12 hours and cold for 24. There is an LED ring that lets you know when the bottle needs to be recharged while also displaying when the self-cleaning cycle is complete. Lark comes in two sizes and in two versions, insulated and a much lighter non-insulated version which is great for outdoor adventures or when I go to the gym. All models come in a range of high quality colorful finishes for any taste and occasion. Stay hydrated and sustainable with the innovative Lark bottle by following the first link in the description below. Now let's move to one of the reasons for this setup which is the 27 inch LG Libero monitor that I recently talked about on the channel. I'll leave a link to the monitor guide that features the Libero monitor and two other unicorn displays that are very unique if you want to check it out. In a nutshell, this is a 1440p IPS display that runs at 60 Hz when connected with USB-C or HDMI. In our case, we've connected both. It has 350 nits brightness, which is plenty good for this corner, but what makes this monitor special is obviously not so much the specs, but rather the design approach. It's made to be hung thanks to the built-in metal swivel stand that can be used standalone on a desk or in this case hung on a partitioner with the included hooks. On both the top and bottom, right smack in the middle, the monitor features USB-C ports where you can plug in the webcam that comes in the package. In case of this setup, since it's hung upside down, the camera is plugged on the bottom, or in our case, the top. The Full HD webcam, which has a privacy cover by the way, is plenty good for occasional meetings when enough light is introduced. This setup is plenty bright thanks to the light that comes from the window above and during the dark hours I can turn on the IKEA floor lamp that I've placed to the site which has a smart bulb placed in it. After a proper calibration and in combination with the high DPI resolution of the Mac Mini, this monitor can be used at a fair distance and with pleasure. It has built-in speakers that are integrated in the chin, which are good for occasional listening, but I wanted something better, so I've placed a HomePod Mini on top of the dock. The Mini is great for pumping out chill vibes while working on a script or editing a photo, for example. Occasional video edits are perfectly fine too. All right, for the sake of testing, let's see if DeX works with this monitor. If that's the case, we will use a proper cable later on that we can easily switch to. Now, the good thing is that, let me just wake it up first. Yay! So the good thing is that this keyboard and the mouse is already connected to the Galaxy S23 Ultra. So DeX is actually working. And on this 1440p display, it looks really, really good. This is what DeX currently supports as far as resolution, although 4K technically should be supported but it's not official yet but overall it looks really nice let me see if i can change the wallpaper nice well that's not the right orientation but still i love it and it's 60 hertz which is nice on top of the laptop table i've placed the logitech desk mat since it's one of the few narrower mats i had around that can fit the shallow table the irony is that i use only the right portion of the mat where the mouse sits because on top of it i've placed a moft smart desk mat the reason i went for the moft mat is because it can be set up at an angle so that if i place a slim mechanical keyboard on top of it it will be at an ergonomic position for more leaning sitting experience. Second, the Moft mat is packed with magnets, which allows me to use the built-in MagSafe attachment to snap any phone into place and charge it at the same time, pulling power from the old WC dock itself. Third, the mat keeps the keyboard in place, compensating the light structure of the laptop table and making the typing experience very sturdy. For a keyboard, I picked the Nufi Air 60, which was the only one here that could match the weird and quirky vibes of this desk setup. Of course, the compact size was another reason for picking the Air 60, but most of all was the fact that it can be connected with up to four devices. So in this case, we can all work on this setup using the Mac Mini or either of the personal laptops because it's just a matter of switching the connection 
to the desired computer. Same goes for the mouse of choice. I place the Logitech MX Master 3 in black since it can connect with pretty much all the devices around here. Alongside the IKEA picture frames, we place the Devon Pixel picture frame. This pixel art frame is extremely funky and fun to glance at and it definitely adds a nice spice to the recipe of quirkiness. All right, let's set up this little, little Devon 16 guy over here. And instead of those galleries, I'm gonna open channel and I wanna display the channel subscriber count and views, but in a stack alongside this and another clock or maybe the sunset and now we have the channel stats and that should be rotating alongside the other Devo we just see the classic clock nice and then the last one should be the sunset there it is <laughs> that's nice I love it. With the IKEA dividers in place, all the cables of the desk can be tossed behind without having to think about cable management at all. In between both partitioners, we've velcroed an LED strip that we can change the color of with a little button that we glued on the side of the laptop table. It adds a bit more depth and color to complement the pixel frame and of course, the monitor. Sitting on the desk is surprisingly fun and comfortable. Now, if you find this desk a bit too funky for your taste or you're looking for something more pro-like, feel free to check out both my home and office studio desk setups here. Like and subscribe to the channel as well as my newsletter. And as always, it's been an absolute pleasure. This is Z, over and out.